whatsoever. Now, there's a Punisher book out there that whenever I recommend it to somebody, they've never fucking heard of it. And I always tell them the same thing. Stop what you're fucking doing. Put the fucking book down and go find these two goddamn issues. What we're talking about here is issues 19 and 20 of the 2014 run on The Punisher done by Nathan Edmondson and Mitch Gerards. And if one of those names sounds familiar to you, that's because Mitch Gerards is also drawing Mr. Motherfucking Miracle, one of the finest comic books ever made. And damn it, does he bring an even better higher level of quality with this fucking pair of issues that we get with this with the Punisher. Damn it, you want to talk about some of the finest Frank Castle books you can get? It's these two issues right here. 19 and 20, the 2014 run. It takes you all the way up to the end of Secret Wars. So this is not Punisher the uh, last day. Uh, sorry, this is not Punisher the end. Like so many people who I talk to about this seem to think this is not the book where Frank Castle walks through the nuclear wasteland and kills the politicians who brought the war. No, this is Frank Castle finding out about ISIS style executions happening in the Middle East. And he goes in and he fucking takes out an entire goddamn terrorist organization by himself there is this beautiful fucking monologue that carries you all the way through issue 19 where frank castle is talking about his coming death talking about how the murky water grows increasingly dark my own voice sounds smaller and smaller the rest of humanity feels farther and farther away Pain becomes a threshold, and the worse it gets, the more eager I am for the other side. I'm wading, pushing through a river of blood, looking at the other shore. The other shore is the only refuge I have left, but I refuse to climb the other shore until I have enough bodies with me to pay the toll. And damn it, does that dialogue not fit the entire two issues that you are going to be enjoying? And again, when I say enjoying, I mean some of the finest punishing that you will see in comic books damn it all there are times where i thought no this can't be hand-drawn it's got to be you know traced photographs it's got to be three you know really well done 3d models but damn it when i saw the name on the fucking credit page i knew nope this isn't trace this is a fucking master of the trade at work the action in this book is breathtaking and when i've talked before about you know the action in punisher year one and in the netflix series this beats the shit out of both of them i mean this is some john wick level shit that we're talking about right here it is stunning from start to finish they really play around with the colors to drive your eye to the important parts of the panel really the way they direct your eye throughout each shot is just fucking perfectly executed you get this amazing sense of motion and that's something that i tend to focus on a lot do i feel do i get the impression that these are pictures in motion that these are people who are moving or am i just looking at a photograph no you can see he's rolling this way he's taking this shot he's turning around this corner with left shoulder first he's not going right shoulder first he's not moving this way no he is moving that way and this kind of you're kind of aided in this with a couple of uh panels where you get those little lines that trace the character's path that you saw in mr miracles issue two and four i don't know if there were any in issue three but damn it, there's some impressive imagery, like the warning signs that Frank leaves for the people that he's coming. And this amazing fucking panel at the end of issue 19, where Frank strikes a match against his um, his vest and a flaming fucking Punisher skull briefly appears on his fucking combat vest. It is, call it cheesy if you want, but god damn it, is it a beautiful fucking image. I don't care how hokey it might seem. This entire run from issue 1 to 20 is some of my favorite Punisher. And it's before Marvel took the Punisher's balls away with the Clunan run. And 
damn it. I recommend the entire fucking thing, but if you're only going to read part of it, issue 19 and 20, Punisher Last Days, it's a one that flew under the radar from a lot of people who I spoke to, who even among Punisher fans, didn't really know that this was a thing, and it deserves a lot more attention than it gets. It deserves to be up there with some of the legendary Punisher stories that we have. Damn it, it's Trust me, it's a 20-issue run. Read all of it if you can, but if you only get two, 19 and 20. It is an amazing end for Frank Castle. He goes full circle, starting in war with Punisher Born and dying in war in Punisher Last Days, right up at the moment when that final incursion hits. Like I said, this is a story about Frank Castle wanting to go out with a boom, a bullet, and a body count that would make the Grim Reaper quit his fucking day job and consider promoting Frank fucking Castle. So get it, love it, let me know what you think about it. If you've already read it, please let me know what you thought. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and do all that jazz. And in the meantime, guys, have fun.